Okay. Thank you very much, uh, President. Um, the theme of my session is actually going to be family history, but I actually was wanting to make reference to a political development, namely that across the ditch in Australia, where we had quite an incredible uh, result with ScoMo um, winning against all the predictions. So um, who in this room has been to Australia? Okay, I think we should all be contributing to celebrate the vibrant democracy across the ditch. <laughs> now, before I share some stories about my family past, um, you discover when doing this research um, things that you didn't know, didn't expect. And one of these um, things uh, was discovered about a year and a half ago. So who can tell me who I am related to through marriage on the president's table? You've got a 50% chance of success. <laughs> you, you, you don't need to pay for the most novel answer. <laughs> <laughs> the are very <laughs> in, in, indeed, so those who didn't think it was um, uh, John McKinnon um, maybe want to make a contribution. I've yet to discover a link with Marion. Oh, well, it's almost, almost there. We'll, we'll have a talk uh, later. Um, but uh, that link with the McKinnons is on my uh, father's side. I want to talk about my father's mother's side. Um, and my grandmother... Um, sorry, my mother's mother's side. My my grandmother uh, told me she didn't like talking about her family past, and she recommended I did no research because there'd be things I discovered that I did not want to know. And this little story is about, I think, what she was talking about. But whoever put this together possibly gets to find because that's not how you spell my name. Okay, so this is the uh, story of an event which changed certainly my family history, but also changed sporting history in Australia and New Zealand. It had a billion dollar impact on particularly the Australian economy. So this is uh, Henry Baskerville and Maria Mace. Now, the Baskervilles were not particularly sporty, as far as I could tell. They came from Ireland. Um, Henry's father, Walter Baskerville, actually served 25 years in the UK military for the 17th Lancers. Does anyone know who the 17th Lancers were and why they were famous? Well done. Your knowledge is outstanding. Everyone else can pay for not knowing that. Um, but fortunately, he would, his, the, this is the father of Henry, was um, diagnosed with cataracts and forced to leave six years before the charge. Otherwise, the chances of my being here would be very low indeed. Though, of the 600 who charged, let's see, 680, um, there were only 145 killed. But uh, it was still pretty horrendous. Um, but I, uh, Maria Mace is interesting because uh, her uh, father and two of her brothers both played cricket for Otago, and one of them, my great-great-grandfather, played for Victoria and Otago, and is one of the very few people to have played representative cricket for an Australian state and New Zealand. And uh, when you go to the MCG, they treat me very well. Um, so the sporting gene, I think, came down from the um, Mace family. Now, this, is, this is the uh, generation that my grandmother um, is in. That's her there, the youngest. And um, unfortunately, this photograph was taken, I think, three years before the event that I'm about to describe. My great grandfather was killed in an industrial accident in Auckland, and he was the sole breadwinner. And so the largest boy in the middle was the only breadwinner. And uh, move, he'd moved to Wellington from Auckland to be a postal worker, and um, he uh, was the breadwinner for that entire family. This had several consequences. Um, he um, decided that he couldn't afford to do this 
as a postal worker. So he changed his name from Baskerville with an I to an E because he thought there was no prospect in Wellington society to uh, get forward if you were a poor Irish Catholic lad. So he pretended he wasn't. And he particularly wanted to join the Masonic Lodge. So I won't get uh, Masons to self-declare, but if, if, if um, uh, you, you come from a Protestant background, I think you should make a little contribution, because quite clearly in that era, things were not good for the Catholics. But changing his name was not enough. He wrote a book. He happened to be a good sports person. He played first um, class rugby, uh, and he wrote this book with his name spelt wrong, the way he changed it, um, in um, about 1906, seven, and it was quite a good seller, and uh, he became reasonably famous. But that wasn't enough. He decided he needed to earn more, and he took a tour of rugby players from Rugby Union to play rugby league in the UK. And, and he got banned from every rugby ground in New Zealand for his sins. So uh, I think everyone who has uh, been to a rugby ground might like to uh, make a contribution. Um, this is uh, one of the souvenirs from that, um, from that tour, and this is uh, Albert, Albert featuring. Unfortunately, um, uh, it was a very successful venture for the individuals concerned. Some earned sort of 200, 200, 250 pounds from the venture, which in those days was um, a lot of money. Uh, the first games of rugby league in Australia were played as a result of this tour. Who's been to a game of rugby league? Well, please, please contribute uh, in, in honour of Albert. Um, uh, but it had a tragic ending for Albert because he caught pneumonia in uh, Sydney and died in Brisbane and came back in a coffin. Uh, he's now buried in, in um, Karori Cemetery uh, and you can go visit him as all visiting Australian and uh, UK uh, rugby league teams do every time they are in town. Uh, so um, without that industrial accident in Auckland and without uh, poor Albert uh, having to be desperate to put um, more money into the bank account, we wouldn't perhaps have had rugby league as quickly in Australia and New Zealand. It's been much more successful, obviously, in Australia than New Zealand, but um, for those of you who are absolutely um, uh, dedicated to the cause of rugby union, things, I guess, are not so bad now that it's a professional uh, game as well. I believe that the thousand-year-old ban on... Um, thousand year ban on Albert visiting rugby grounds was um, rescinded a few years after his death. Thank you very much.